Gary Webb, a Pulitzer Prize-winning investigative reporter who wrote a series of stories linking the CIA to crack cocaine trafficking in Los Angeles, is dead. He died at the age of 49, uh, found Friday morning at his home in Sacramento County, dead of an apparent suicide. Thoughts are the rulers of this head of mine They demand I go to 1979 That was the year Nicaragua was the place The nation where a sense of elation Stemmed from the fact that new political vistas Were being opened up by socialists and anistas Who were they? Well let me put it this way Before their rise the country was awash in dismay Due to Samoza dictator of the land Who enjoyed US backing So he lived grand after the revolution occurred, he fled and his cronies took off like a snowbird. One of them was Oscar de Neo Blandone, who entered the U.S. and made Cali his new home. He began plotting along with other exiles to tear the revolution like cheap textiles. Step one was to rally and raise funds for a counter-revolution army who'd blaze guns. Dark alliance. Consider this an instance of critical political science. Aside from Blandone, another right-wing simian Who wanted Sandinistas to be blown to oblivion Was Ronald Reagan, a fiend who was elected in 80 November And by the next December, the 40th president signed a secret order Freeing up the CIA like shells from a mortar Translation, do what needs to be done, I won't ask And here's 20 million for the task So they move forward with no second guesses While Blandone met with one Norman Manessas A fellow exile who the Nicaraguan press knew as Ray de la Droga King of drugs, yes That was his life, his night and his day roll He also had a friend on the CIA payroll Colonel Enrique Bermudez Who basically stated That the money Reagan allocated was far from enough According to his math So Anita rose for another money making path Drugs were the answer for a man like Manessas Drugs, 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 let him flow like tresses Dark Consider this an instance of critical political science Dark The skill of making cocaine flow like propane Was taught to Blandone who decided to go gain a good share Of an untapped market So Compton and South Central became his target The people there couldn't afford to get coked up But things changed when the head of crack poked up From an ounce of coke You can make hundreds of vials of crack Now who smiled at that? Manessis, Blandone and Ricky Ross Who was Ross? A hustler turned crack boss The drug trade bloomed like a daffodil The city of LA became the world's crack capital Three million worth of crack in one day That's what Ross could sell amidst the gunplay Blandone supplied Ross Ross gave him cash and the funds Purchased equipment and guns for the CIA's army The killers, the criminals, the Contras Who taught Nicaragua what a bomb does They bombed and tortured like the CIA ordered Till the country was drawn and quartered Innocent folks were killed or on the run and by 1990, the revolution was done. Dark alliance, dark alliance, dark alliance, dark alliance. Consider this an instance of critical political science. basically tied this all together and said, yeah, this is true, uh, the Contras were selling cocaine and they were selling it to the Crips and the Bloods, who were turning it into crack and selling it to, you know, black families and black neighborhoods all across the country. And, and for your effort, you got your career destroyed, right? Um, yeah, pretty much. Um, it, it seems that it wasn't a very popular story. I mean, a, a lot of people didn't want to hear that kind of stuff. 